Hi, I'm Jason Kozlerich with Fangoria Magazine, and we're here at the Paramount Theater to check out A24's premiere of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. We're going to go hit up the red carpet and chat with some people. For horror fans, without spoiling anything, what can they hope to expect? Blood. It's funny. Um, it's absolute chaos, this movie. That's one of the things I really enjoy about it. There's no monsters, but it's like chaos. I think there's a lot of unexpected twists and turns. There's incredible acting. There's just a lot of fun. I think the humor is amazing. And there's just some really nice violence. You know, it's a very fresh, unique sense of humor with sense of fear. Um, something that asks questions about trust and that the biggest horror is the biggest monster is somehow are in ourselves. And it's an interesting movie, it's just a multi-layered movie that feels light, but actually once you watch it, the questions exist in your head for at least three, four days. And yeah, I would like them to see and hear what they think about the movie. Ooh, I think they can expect something different than what they think is going to happen. I think. If, does that make any sense? Sure. Something I'm like, I think they're going to think something else is going to happen than it does. I hope. A twist, mm -hmm. if you will. So it's been a minute since you've been in a horror movie. What drew you to this project? I'll tell you, Helena Rain, the director, I watched her movie Instinct and I thought it was so smart and shocking and surprising um, that when I read the script, I thought she was going to do something really cool with it. Um, so that's really, that's where it kind of drew me toward it. And what an incredible group of actors I got to work with on it. Everyone was so game and um, it was fun to work with. It was fun. Well, you know, I always like to think that there is a very thin line, fine line between tragedy and comedy. And with tragedy, somehow horror, drama, tragedy fit in the space. So it's a very slippery line. And I think bodies, 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 somehow have both of this. So that's why it's kind of funny because when something is extremely funny, somehow I always like to think about, there is a book that I was obsessed with a couple of years ago called the, called Hunger by Knut Hamsun. And I think um, the poster or the title, the front page is like the scream, the painting. And I like to think about that every time when we somehow open our mouth, you can never guess exactly if there isn't a sound is this person crying, screaming, or laughing? Because it's, a, it's very <laughs> similar somehow. So it's not such a big difference. Plus we had some horrifying moments in Bora as well. Honestly, the script, like it was one of the only scripts that I was reading and was literally like out loud, like, oh, what? <gasps> like gasping um, while I was reading it. And it was so exciting because I, I could not say this script is this. Like it continues to evolve as you read it. And that to me was really intriguing because that just gives you so much freedom in what you can do with it. Uh, I immediately knew I wanted to be a part of the project when I read it. Right off the bat, reading the script was the most incisive writing that I've read in a long time. Um, Sarah Delap, uh, one of the writers, just like slashes through all these like socio-political dynamics. Um, and on top of that, the cast, the whole crew, such a fun squad, the greatest family and the greatest concoction of amazing people. I'm Why sorry. is comedy and horror a good pairing? Oh, I think violence and humor okay. it goes together. And I just think life in general, even though we suffer in life, I think there's also a lot of humor in it. Because even when really big things are happening, life is still very banal and small at the same time. And the absurdity of that is also very funny. And I think we all need a release, you know, so I hope we can bring that to you tonight. So do you enjoy horror movies and do you have a favorite slasher? Um, I enjoy certain horror movies. Uh, I love The Green Room. I loved It Follows. Um, I love like a, like a smart, cheap horror movie. Do you know what I'm saying? Like a movie that is like well made with nothing. I think that like fits into my sweet spot with a horror movie. Uh, I'm scared of horror movies, if I have to be completely transparent, but I do have a lot of favorite movies that fit in this genre and they most of them are from A24 um, because they somehow manage to do it to feel like magical and to want to look at it no matter that it's scary, like Hereditary or Midsummer or I have to add again, um, there is a movie that is a horror movie that sticks in my head probably 10 years ago called It Follows. Great movie. That I loved a lot. 
Okay, I do, but I get scared. I think my favorite horror movie is Green Room. I love it, and I'm usually not into gore, but there's gore in that movie, and I, I think it's an amazing movie. I love it. <laughs> no and no. I actually am deathly afraid of scary movies, and I don't watch them. So this was actually pretty exciting for me to do, because I was like, am I going to be able to do this without scaring myself? I don't know. But um, I have a new love and appreciation for them after having been in this. Honestly, I get extremely freaked out, but with this one, we we were so deep in it that uh, it all became kind of like normalized as we're covered in like blood and mud and sweat and water, as you'll see the whole, the whole throughout the whole film. It uh, it kind of demystified the the spookiness of horror for me. So uh, yeah. What was the first movie that did scare you? Oh God. Uh, when a stranger calls, Camilla Bell. I didn't sleep for two weeks straight. Was there one that you saw as a kid that scared the shit out of you? My mom wouldn't let me watch those as a kid. She wouldn't let me watch things. We always tried. I remember going to Blockbuster and like trying to get. But as a kid, yeah, we didn't. We weren't allowed. So to you, watch you definitely didn't read Fangoria magazine as a kid. Your mom wouldn't I let didn't. you. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know.